This channel is very expensive to maintain. If you'd like to support this channel and ensure constant content continues to be uploaded, consider my Patreon, where you can choose the amount you pledge to me each month, from $1 to $100 to whatever you'd wish. Hey everyone, as always Jarek here, and welcome to my review of the Echo 1 VSS. The real VSS is an interesting weapon made by those wacky Russians. It's a sniper that's integrally suppressed and fires subsonic ammo. Definitely very interesting. The Echo 1 version comes in a usual box that you should expect from Echo 1. It's packaged well, although nothing really to talk about too much, just note that you shouldn't have to worry about shipping with this packaging. It will come with a gun, a magazine, a battery that's a 9.6 volt battery and is actually somewhat usable, although it's not the highest of quality, I would recommend getting a better one, but you can still use it, and a crappy trickle charger that I would definitely recommend replacing. The gun's build quality is very similar to that of what you usually see in CYMA AKs. The entire body is made of metal, and in fact the only parts that aren't metal are the foregrip, which is made of polymer, and the stock, which is not wood, it is also plastic, but it feels solid enough, so I can't complain too much about that. The stock also has a very thick rubber pad that is actually pretty comfortable on the shoulder. Overall, this gun is built pretty solid and you shouldn't have to worry about anything breaking. The operations are the same as your regular AK with the same safety selector switch, and the bolt gives a satisfying loud clank when you let it snap forward. Like other AKs, when you pull the bolt back, it reveals a sliding type pop-up unit that is pretty effective. This gun does have some trades just painted on it in white, it doesn't really take too much away from the gun or add too much to the gun. On the right side it says Red Star, and on the left side it says Echo 1 Igor, which is the name that Echo 1 has given it. The iron sights are just like what you'd see in any other AK. If they're not good enough for you, you can add in a side-mounted Russian-styled scope to the gun. And just like an AK, this gun runs on version 3 parts, so you should have no problem replacing parts or finding upgrade parts. The magazines hold 150 rounds and are not AK-styled magazines. Regular AK mags will not work on this gun. They do make extended 300 round high capacity magazines as well though, if you would like those instead. What I need to point out about the magazines though is that it can be a little bit tricky to get them into the gun sometimes. They rock in like an AK, but you can't really see where you need to rock in, so sometimes you just try to put it into the gun and it just doesn't click in place. If you do this wrong, it can also unwind the magazine and spray BBs all over the place. It's a little tricky to get down, but once you get it down, it's not too much of an issue. The method I used was instead of rocking the gun in like an AK, was more to put it in almost straight upward and then rock it in, and that seemed to work pretty well. So for the most part, I don't really have any complaints, and there's not too much to talk about. It basically is an AK with a VSS body on it. But I do have one pretty big complaint, and that is the battery compartment. The battery compartment is in the stock, but unlike what other smarter companies have done, where you can simply pull the butt plate up and then off, this one is screwed in. I don't know why they decided to do this, I don't have to unscrew this every single time I need to replace my battery. That's just rather obnoxious. The good news is it does fit a 9.6 volt stick type battery perfectly fine with plenty of space left over, but I would still recommend getting a 7.4 volt LiPo instead. So there is plenty of space and that's not a complaint, but it's just a pain to get to. Something I almost forgot and should really clarify, I used an analogy at the beginning of this video saying this gun's build quality is similar to that of CYMA AKs. I didn't mean it was made by CYMA. This gun is actually manufactured by ST, but redistributed by Echo 1. As for the performance of this gun, it's actually incredibly accurate. I don't think I properly showed it off in this video, but if I was accurately shooting, if I really knew where the BBs were going, I would have no problem hitting this target, even the small 22 size target, at about 100 feet away. You could hit people up to, I would estimate, around 150 feet away, and it's really not too much of a problem to point and shoot this thing. It really is one of the more accurate AEGs I've fired. So final conclusions of this gun. I'm just going to give you the Too Long Didn't Read version. If you want a VSS, completely go for it. You don't have too many options when it comes to the VSS, but everyone wants one, everyone's going to recognize what it is, you're going to get plenty of props out on the field, but not many people are actually going to have one. It's sturdy, it's reliable, it performs well, it has parts that are replaceable, and its only downside is just the battery compartment. So there's not much more to say about it, it's definitely a good gun for the price. Depending on where you go, you can find it from around $175 to $220, and for about that price, it's completely worth it. So that about sums up my review of the Echo 1 VSS. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.